Stack of Animal Rights. A Phoenician first recorded the word gorilla. This was Hanno the Navigator who voyaged from Carthage along the West African coast in the 6th century BC. His logbook contains this entry. We came to an island of savages. Most of them were women with hairy bodies whom our interpreters called gorillas. We chased them but could not get any males, they being good climbers. We got three women who bit and clawed. So we killed them and flayed them and brought their skins back home. Pliny the Elder attests that gorilla skins were exhibited in the temple of Tanit in Carthage until the Romans destroyed it. According to linguists, the word gorilla renders a Kikongo term for powerful animal that beats itself violently. Cheapjack stack. The Phoenicians were a commercial people. They traded metals, weapons, ostrich eggs, shoelaces, whistles, nuts, panthers, letters of the alphabet. They invented the alphabet. They invented alphabetical order. They used these inventions for commercial transactions which were scribbled on the back of envelopes and vanished from history. From the Phoenicians, the Greeks stole the alphabet, added a few letters, and sat down to write the classics of Western civilization. Cold, clear, and blue is the morning. Jezebel is filed between ice cream and karma. Thunderstorm stack. A lolloping wind pours out the trees and night. Boughs work at the window. Feet stain on the stairs. Doors slam, tables fall, ghosts fling their clocks from the balcony. Hand me mine, said Jezebel. A sentence afloat will you listen, growing old by its sound in a fraction. Cheap Thunder Jack Storm Restack. Classic is the morning. Panthers fling their alphabets from the balcony. Feet vanished from history, lolloping vanished. The Phoenicians traded me, said Jezebel, growing old at the window. Will you whistle, will you work, will you file, will you fall, will you hand me civilization as a weapon? They invented its blue sound. <laughs> <laughs>